Hey guys, if you like my videos, click on subscribe and give me a like. And don't forget the bell so you can get notified of new ones. Hey guys, how's it going? Dale here. In this short little video, I have a brand new Asus Vivo book or Vivo book, depending on where you live, I guess. Uh, 15.6 inch laptop. Uh, I literally just took it out of the box. I'm going to do a little upgrading on it for the customer. It's a F512 F model. It's a Core i3 8145U CPU. It ships with a total of 8 gigs of memory, uh, 4 gigs on board, and then an expansion slot that currently has a 4 gig stick already in it for a total of 8. I'm going to put a 16 gig stick in there, bumping us up to 20 gigabytes of memory, and I'm going to replace the 128 gigabyte SSD with a 250. That's what the customer wants, so that's what I'm going to do, but it's a nice little laptop. Um, has a backlit keyboard, full HD 1080p display with the with the nano edge design, which is kind of sleek. It's nice and thin. It has plenty of expansion ports. It's got your HDMI port, high speed USB. It's got the new C type USB headphone jack, and it even has a SD a micro SD slot on the side for the little tiny SD cards. Over here we have two more USB ports, and it's a very nice little laptop. It has really impressive sound, good good quality speakers. I actually had to turn down because they were quite quite loud. So um, it's a nice little laptop, and we're going to do a little upgrading on it. So let's open it up. All right, guys. Um, I've already went ahead and I've removed all the screws didn't want to bore you with that but I do want to point out I swear Asus is the only company Asus is the only company that does this but you got different length screws here um, these four across the front here are one length these two these four here are all a different length this one here in the middle in the back is a real long screw um, of course this one here is the same as these so you got three different length screws so just make sure you don't put a long screw in a short hole that wouldn't be good so I've never opened up one of these new models th this particular one before so I got the screws out um, it looks like I'm going to need a very very thin little spudger tool to get in along the edge here we don't want to leave tool marks so I'm going to see if I can just get my little tool in there to get it started won't let too bad. You don't want to be using a screwdriver, please. Usually when you get these started, they peel off pretty easy, like that. Just be careful, I think we're going to have a little trouble on the back there. <clears throat> Take your time. it around but it kind of folds under back here next to the hinge on each side so I'm gonna have to kick it out here nah, it's not breaking loose back there oh, there we go a little, little bit of jiggling my magic word but you want to be careful because you don't want to end up breaking one of these where it wraps around just kind of jiggle it carefully until it breaks loose so right here's our M2 drive and our one expansion slot for memory I'm going to take out this it's a 4 gig um, DDR4 um, RAM module I'm going to replace that with a 16 gig and I'm going to take out the 128 gig SSD M2 here and uh, put a 250 gig in there just one little screw here just one little screw right here to remove the M2 drive carefully remove that I'm going to remove the RAM popping it out we're going to put our 
250 gig SSD in there. Just like that. I'm going to put the screw back in, of course. Don't over tighten it. Just so it's snug. And we have our 16 gig DDR4 2400 RAM module we're going to put in right here. Now, I did not disconnect the battery. Some people have said before you should disconnect the battery. It's right here if you want to disconnect your battery. I just, right here, the laptop's turned off, of course. If you're careful, you shouldn't have any trouble. But if you want to slide out the connector here for the battery, you're certainly welcome to do that. If you've never done this before, maybe you should. Just make sure your laptop's powered completely off. So that's it. We upgraded the RAM. We got four gigabytes of memory on board. And this will give us 20 gigs. And then we got a new SSD in here giving us 250 gigs instead of just 128 that's what the customer wanted so that's what I did and this also <clears throat> um, oh actually it doesn't sorry but again the sound that comes out of this thing is pretty impressive so uh, they got some good speakers in here I'm try to set this back in place looks like you have to set the back end first sure it snaps in just like that all right so what I'm going to do is obviously I took out the 128 gig where I already got it into Windows 10 it comes this is shipped in the S mode they call it so you can only use Microsoft apps out of the Microsoft Store which is no big deal to bump that up to Windows 10 Home Edition. It's super easy. It takes about two minutes. You just create a free Microsoft account and it does it through the store. It takes about a total of two minutes. So in this case, I'm going to do a clean install of Windows 10 using my USB flash drive and the new 1909 edition and we'll be good to go. So that's how you open up one of these Bible books wasn't too bad just be really careful putting the screws back in make sure you don't you, you put them back in the right spot so you got three different lengths so I appreciate y'all watching don't forget to subscribe I'd appreciate it and have a great day